All right, so this is an overview of the 3200 Husqvarna pressure washer that you can buy at Costco right now as of 2022. Um, so here's a little bit of a recap. I already did some videos on the 3100, which is the previous model, sold around 2019-2020 at Costco. I posted several videos about it already, and I talked about some pros and cons. As much as I really did like that pressure washer and I did take care of it and I did everything in my power to make sure that it lasts a long time, it only lasted two years. Uh, so fast forward to today, I now have the 3200. So with the previous pressure washer, I ran into some problems with the carburetor. Um, and the, if you saw my previous video, I pointed out how the carburetor was made out of plastic. Uh, the previous one was a different Briggs & Stratton engine and it had the pump at the bottom. What I'm going to attempt to do in this video is I'm going to give you an overview from someone who owned the previous version, the previous model, and now owns this new one and kind of give you my two cents on it. The previous pressure washer has a plastic carburetor. I ended up having a problem with it. It would not start. I cleaned the carburetor. I used treated gas. I made sure it had spark. Um, and, you know, I went as far as opening up the carburetor and using some carb cleaner. While the carburetor was open, I went inside there and all the little jets, I went and made sure and had this little wire and cleaned out all the jets, made sure that was really clean. It had fresh gas in it and all the gas was treated with stable. And it still will not start. I went ahead and got myself some starter fluid and it still would not start. The previous pressure washer had spark. Um, it, ha it felt like it had pressure, but no matter what I did with that pressure washer, after two years, it just died. So after it died, I had to figure out what I had to do next. So I'm not a big fan of returning things after a long period of time, but in this case, you know, that's kind of the reason why I bought it at Costco. So I reluctantly returned it back at Costco. Yes, after two years of owning it. Again, I'm not a big fan of doing that. I That was the first time I've ever actually returned anything past 30 days at Costco. But at the end of the day, that's one of the perks of being a Costco member is that they do honor, um, you know, this return policy and your satisfaction. And I just wasn't satisfied. I was expecting to get a lot more life out of it. So anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So here we are with the newer version. As you can tell, I on purpose have it backwards and I'm going to get into why I did that on purpose. But let me kind of go through some pros. So the previous pressure washer, the engine was on top and this was at the bottom. This is actually much more accessible. So this is a pro. So in the future, for whatever reason, if your pump goes bad, because your pump can go bad, it'll be extremely easy to change. Just taking these four screws out, you can remove this, very accessible. You don't have to worry about the engine being tilted and gasoline or oil coming out of it. It's just, you know, very easily accessible and, and, and changeable. So that's a pro is the fact that this is horizontal versus the old school previous model vertical. So here's another big, huge pro. This down here, a metal carburetor. I'm super happy to see this. The previous Briggs and Stratton engine that I had on the 3100 was a plastic carburetor. Um, and you know what, despite me really wanting that to last, it just didn't. I think it had some carburetor issues or for whatever reason, it just was not starting. So this is a big pro. This has a metal carburetor. That's honestly, you know, just, just really, really good. Um, the next thing I really do like about this is this down here. This is a fuel valve. You can actually shut it off. And this is really good because um, in the previous one, you did not have the ability to shut off your fuel. And that's something you want to do with any of these gas engines, these small gas engines is one of the main reasons why they tend to go bad over a period of time is the carburetors tend to get gunked up with old gas, despite you using non-ethanol gas, premium gas, stabilized or fuel treated gas, it can still go bad. Um, so the ability to be able to turn off the gas and have it run itself dry and turn itself off is a plus. In the previous version, it didn't have it. This is already included in here, um, and this has a great feature. Another great feature that I see in this is the fact that this is a slightly bigger engine than the um, 3100. So um, I'm hoping that I can get a lot more life from two, rather than two years. The third thing I find, and keep in mind, I mean, like the 3100, uh, I just don't know what they were thinking. They did not include a soap dispenser in the previous version. Something so basic as like a soap dispenser for a pressure washer was missing. What they gave you was some hoses and expected to use your own bottle. Um, and, you know, I have a video on how that looks like. But in any case, the fact that they included this out the box, I'm happy for that.
And another thing I really like about this is this doesn't have the gimmick that the previous version did. So the, the, the fourth awesome thing about it is that it allows you and it recommends that you change your oil. The previous Briggs & Stratton engine on the 3100 was one of those gimmicks from Briggs & Stratton that says you do not have to change your oil, that all you had to do was just add your oil to that engine um, and make sure that you know it was topped off, but you can leave your old oil in there, which I thought that was a horrible idea. Um, with this Briggs & Stratton engine, they don't do that. They actually recommend that you change your oil, and not only that, they actually gave you an oil drain plug. A lot of these small engines, like even lawnmowers, may not have this, and the way you remove it is by you know taking off the dipstick and tilting the whole thing to the side to uh, drain it out. You don't have to do that here. They actually include a drain valve, and the weird thing is you have a drain valve here, a dipstick on this side, and then they also have it on the other side, which, for me, that's a pro. Um, you can pick and choose which side you like. And you know, I just see it as easily serviceable, easily being able to take care of this engine. I mean, just look at this. Look at the spark plug. Very easily accessible on the top. From my opinion of somebody who's a an amateur DIYer tinkerer that likes to tinker with engines from time to time, I can appreciate this engine and the ease of accessibility and maintenance. Here's another thing, I mean, look at this air filter. Look how nice and robust this air filter is. This, compared to what the previous version, which the previous version was just a simple little foam stuck in front of like plastic. This is much, ro much more robust. I mean, just look at this. This looks awesome. It has even a, a rubber gasket on it. It seats in very well. This is premium by comparison. By comparison to the previous version that Costco sold, this thing is premium. All right, so some of the similarities that this has with the previous version is the fact that they recommend or they have like a little area for the wand to live um, in the handle. You really can't put the handle in wand and store it. Uh, it's just, it's awkward. Um, and you know, per the instructions, they really recommend that you leave the wand here um, with the gun and then you know the hose wrapped up and again this is very familiar in the sense that the 3100 was exactly like that so going from the 3100 to 3200 to for me this is I'm, I'm right at home this is exactly how i did it for my previous version so there's no change the only weird thing that as you can tell is i on purpose chose to install the handle backwards have the handle moving forward rather than going back and the reason why i do this is it needs to sit in a shed and it's really tight on space inside my shed. So when I put this in, the doors close right behind it, like right about here. Uh, so this handle was in the way. So I flip it around and kind of solve that problem. So he, another area where this is a pro, and now this took a little getting used to, is the fact that they give you a seven in one nozzle with this. So rather than giving you those little nozzles that you just kind of pluck out and you can easily you lose, they give you all this. This has 0, 15, 25, 40 degrees, has bubbles or soap. It has far away bubbles, like I think this is called second story bubbles, and then second story wash. So I get to use these um, second story ones, but I have used you know the 0 through 40s and, and it works great. Uh, and this is a turbo washer. I have not used this at all. I know what this is supposed to do. I just haven't found a reason to use it just quite yet. Um, but it, it kind of just goes in a circle and does a very abrasive quick wash. Um, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to using this. All in all, I've owned this about three weeks. I've used it about six times uh, and I'm content with it. You know, some people have had issues with it out the box. I have not owned it long enough to give you any negative reviews on it so far because I'm familiar with the previous Harskovana. This has been a very easy adoption for me. I'm very stoked and psyched about how, you know, parts are made much more premium. Things are made out of metal. Things are much more accessible. Um, so, you know, I'm just so far happy with it. One of the areas where I was very disappointed is there is no place to put this. I on purpose made these holes. I got one of these, you know, stepped um, drill bits that kind of make some holes. I made some holes here and there. This is my first hole, and I made the hole a little bit too big for my liking. I mean, it does fit, 
but you can see how it doesn't work. So I, I kind of messed up and learned uh, what not to do and I made it a little bit smaller and it works perfectly. It fits right in there. This one fits right in there too. And I'm able to tilt it and the thing does not fall off, you know. It, it's pretty well secure and it was my little hack so that I have an easily accessible area to place this. And I'm, that's one disappointment I have from Husqvarna is, you know, they should have included somewhere to put these cool nozzles. It's just, they didn't do that. Now, one of the cons I have here is the fact that this is a manual choke. Now, the previous 3100, despite it being a lot cheaper in quality, one of the pros that it did have is it had an auto choke, meaning you never had to worry about this choking. Uh, whether it was cold or hot, it would start on its own on, a, you know, on the first and sometimes second pull because it had an auto choke built in. Another pro I can find is the fact that this gas can or the, the, the gas tank that's connected to this, it's made out of metal. The previous one was a plastic gas tank. Um, and I feel like this gas tank is actually bigger than the one I had before. So I am actually content with it. All right, so quick summary. The fact that this has it or horizontal pump and not a vertical, meaning it's easily accessible. It has a dipstick and a drain valve on both sides. It has a fuel shutoff valve with a metal carburetor. Uh, metal gas tank like as i mentioned already it has a better and more robust air intake filter accessible easily accessible spark plug it just to me this is a no-brainer however this setup based on my observation isn't unique husqvarna didn't make this Briggs and stratton didn't make this i believe this is another third party out there who are just slapping frames and engines and just you know calling it whatever there's westinghouse out there with very similar uh pump and engine just the frame looks different uh, there's a ryobi out there same engine same pump different frame and different nozzle different hose um, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that pretty much has the same thing so so that could be a, a pro or a con it could be a con in the sense that this thing is just massly mass produced and with different labels smacked on it if you ever have a problem with it, you know, it, you, you get to run around. If I try to call Husqvarna and say, hey, I have a problem with this. Oh, no, that's a Briggs & Stratton engine. Call Briggs & Stratton. I call Briggs & Stratton. They're going to say, oh, no, it's Husqvarna. And I'm pretty sure if you do that with Westinghouse or Ryobi, it's going to be that same vicious circle. So that kind of leads me back to why I got it from Costco in the first place. Because if I ever do have problems, hopefully I don't, Costco will have my back versus the manufacturer. All right, so here are some quick tips for the people who are there, a little bit of novice and pressure washers. Um, so first things first is before you start it, never, ever, ever run this pressure washer, any pressure washer without a garden hose with water running through it. You always wanna have water running through it. So once you have it up against the hose, um, obviously you wanna unchoke, you'll open up the gas, um, and then you want to depress the wand and have water circulate. Once you've had water circulate it, then that's when you'll go ahead and come up here. You see a um, little line is for turn it on, you'll turn it on, and you'll pull it a couple times to get it started. I mean, it's pretty obvious when you buy this how to start it. They have how-to guides on how to do that. I mean, it's, it's instructions are right on the label right here. One thing that they have not really mentioned that I think it's worth mentioning here is when you are done when you want to turn it off just don't come over here and turn it off and just store it call it a day no 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 you're gonna you're gonna lead that could lead to problems especially if you don't know when's going to be the next time that you're going to use this you leave yourself at risk of having your carburetor go bad so one of the things i recommend is don't turn it off from here when you're ready to stop using this you'll come over here and you'll shut off the fuel you know, water still going through it and just let it die its, itself. Let, let, let itself turn itself off. Um, and what that's doing, is gonna burn through the vast majority of the fuel in the carburetor. There's still gonna be some fuel in there, but you've already burned a good chunk of it. And it's gonna reduce the risk of your carburetor gunking up and causing startup issues in the future. So that's one thing I would recommend. And once it's off and it turns itself off, then you'll come over here and turn it off over here. Um, they don't go over that in the owner's manual, but that's just common practice for a lot of these small machines. They, that's typically what you want to do. You want to make sure you, you utilize the fuel shutoff valve and have it run its carburetor dry. The other thing is, I don't remember seeing it in the owner's manual. Maybe it's in there, but most small engines like 
lawnmowers, um, generators, they typically recommend that you change your oil at least the first five to eight hours of use. So I'm at that point right now, you know, I've had this for about three weeks. I used it about six times, I'm maybe about four hours of use. Um, so after my next use, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil. Um, so that's what's recommended is the initial use after five to eight hours. And then after that initial use, then you should change your oil at least once a year or once a season. Assuming you're just a resident owner, you're not using this commercially, you're not using it very heavily. I would recommend it just doing it once a year. But that's pretty much it. Just by take my overview of this product. Hopefully you found some of the information I provided in this video somewhat useful or entertaining. Uh, but overall, I am content with it. And we'll see if time is good to this pressure washer. Um, and if it's one of those ones that will last us a couple years. We don't know, but we'll see.